April 28th. Absalom's disgust of his father festers, and so he systematically plots to win the hearts of the people away from his father David. And within four years, he becomes immensely popular, clearly claiming his place in the minds of the people as David's eventual successor. But Absalom has no intention of waiting until the properly appointed time to ascend the throne. He stages a coup and proclaims himself king. David flees Jerusalem for his life, and it's a riveting story that plays out. Remember, God hasn't promised David that he would serve out his life as king, only that the royal dynasty would remain within his family. So David doesn't know if he will ever return to Jerusalem as king. In David's mind, Absalom might very well succeed in taking his throne. In fact, chapter 15, verse 25 and 26 reveals David's attitude. Carry God's ark back into the city. If I find favor in Yahweh's eyes, he will bring me again and show me both it and his inhabitation. But if he says, I have no delight in you, behold, here I am. Let him do to me as seems good to him. David wasn't resolved to go out without a fight. He also prayed for deliverance from this rebellion, and God answers his prayer in the form of Hushai, a trusted advisor who will serve as a spy for David while this coup plays out. And as chapter 17, verse 14 indicates, Hushai's advice ends up being the difference between success and failure. It's Hushai's advice that saves David's life from what would have been a certain death at the hand of Ahithophel. In a previous reading, we saw that David did so many things well, that he even repented well. Today we see that he also accepted discipline very well. His attitude in the midst of this situation is again stellar and a model for all of us. His posture throughout this ordeal is very pleasing to God. His attitude is, yes God, I admit I'm guilty and I deserve whatever you want to do to me. If this calamity is from you, I accept your terms. Do with me what you will, because I know you are just and right. If possible, please be merciful to me, restore me, bless me, and prosper me. As we've seen in the last few readings, David made very serious mistakes. But David's simple trust in God and his desire to serve God's purpose was his hallmark character quality. It's what made him great. His willingness to look crisis in the face and trust God, to look disaster in the face and say, let God's will, not my will, be done, is a model for all of us. Here's today's application. Life can be so complicated. It's so hard sometimes to see the hand of God at work, and it's hard to interpret why things happen. But in these times, remember David's response to Absalom's rebellion. Have your will, O God. Let this response serve as a model for you. Now here's today's prayer.